tag one of them out, take up exactly the same position that the person that he tags out has start a brand new scene. From our finest cowboy here in Midwest Kansas. Oh man, look at the letters on that thing. You look at the all getting the You got fresh whole milk right there. That's where we get, we get it right in produce. Oh yeah? But right in the Walmart. Look at the fights on that one. Oh yeah. my does. What made you want to participate in Nine Lives when you first arrived here at Southwestern? So, I kind of grew up on Southwestern's campus. Both of my brothers went to Southwestern, and they're 8 and 12 years older than me. And my oldest brother, Tommy, he was on Nine Lives while he was here. Um, so that was like 2004 to, I think, 2010, he was on Nine Lives. So I grew up coming to the shows and thinking that it was so much fun. Um, I remember being in middle school and like playing improv games with my friends that I had like learned at Nine Lives shows. So I knew whenever I came here that that was what I wanted to do. They're gonna catch me while I'm saying Go ahead. Alright. Come on. Woo! I got you. I got you. I don't, I don't quite trust you. you like, here, I'll try. Alright, you go. Okay, yeah. I'm listening. What is your favorite memory of Nine Lives performance in the world? So my favorite one was probably from my freshman year. It was the Christmas show and they did 12 days of SC Christmas. And that year the football team was really bad. And they made a joke about, they got to number eight. They got eight football losses and it was the funniest thing. <laughs> and my favorite memory was probably the very last show of last year before uh, we lost four of our members. I think it's probably one of our best shows that we did. No, it's a scene game, but it rotates, and so, okay. Um, we need an object uh, along, kind of on the size of an elephant. An elephant. Can you tell us how and why Nine Lives came about? A couple of things happened. We had a group of students at Southwestern that were interested in improvisational acting and they tried to start a troupe on their own just two years before Nine Lives came into existence. And in part because they were interested in improv and I had interest in improv, we did a show called Tony and Tina's Wedding. And Tony and Tina's Wedding has run, run off Broadway. It ran off Broadway. It may still be running off Broadway in New York City and in Chicago for years. And it is a show in which you have this mob group and there's a wedding and, uh, but characters get very specific uh, dis character descriptions, but then you improv the vast majority of the show. So that really promoted a great deal of interest. And then finally, we recruited a number of students from Coffeeville Community College, and they had an improv troupe called uh, the Rubber Chicken Factory. And uh, the rest is history. Three, one, two, three, four, five. 